Uh, I think I solved it. Okay, can you explain? Yeah, yeah so, so uh, let's say A is not equal to C and B is not equal to D. Mm -hmm. So then A, A minus C is equal to D squared to 3 minus B squared to 3. Yes. And then, so that means, so that means uh, the right side, side would be squared to 3 times D minus B. So, so that means... That means uh, uh, Hmm. Wait, no, I did uh, score. Okay, so let me write. A minus C is square root of 3D minus B, right? Yeah. Then what? But since uh, A and C are rational numbers, and D and B, uh, you can't multiply an irrational number and turn that into... Multiply irrational times irrational to get irrational. Yes, so you can means... say something. You can also write it like this. So case one, if D is not equal to B, so the denominator is not zero. And uh, so because it is a rational over rational, it's rational and that's a contradiction because root three is not a rational number, right? Yeah. And proof of root three is not rational, it's not hard because it's if root three is X over Y, which x and y, you can say they are positive integers and relatively prime, right? Yeah. Then x is 3y squared. Then 3, uh, x squared is 3y squared. Then 3 divides what from this? Um, y squared. No, from this equation, 3 divides what? Uh, oh, x squared. Then 3 divides what? Uh, because 3 is prime, do you agree 3 divides x? Uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So x is 3x1, right? Yes. yes. Then if you replace 9x1 squared, it's 3y squared, right? Yeah. yeah. So 3x1 squared is what? y squared. So 3 divides what? Uh, y. Yes, y squared and then y, but that's a contradiction because then 3 dy is gcd of x and y, which is 1, right? Yeah. Okay, so root 3. If d is b, if d is b, you can say, okay, you can cancel them and then a is c. And this is the thing that we want, right? And for the yeah. other case, we reach contradiction. Okay, now that you know something like that, try to prove, try to work on this problem 25. Mm, I need a hint. Okay, sure. Here, so I want to prove that this one should be integer, this one also should be integer, okay? Means the thing okay. inside them should be power of 5, okay? Yeah. Uh, do you agree if, for example, we know a fifth root of 2 is not rational number, right? Yeah. And for any number, you can prove this, that is not power of 5, if, for example, a is an integer, and a is not the power of 5, then root fifth root of a is not rational, we can prove this, right? Exactly by this, by similar to this approach, okay? Now here, if it is not power of 5, then you can take something, it would be, for example, for this one, you can write it as C times fifth root of D, right? Yeah. Then you can also write it as E fifth root of F, okay? And then okay. you can you can prove it is 5, again, like this one. You can take it to right side, then... Uh, for example, a is equal to c, b is equal to d, then do you agree with which contradiction? Yeah. Because here it is 5 and it is not power of 5. So by the same proof, we can prove it's not possible, right? Yeah. So x plus 76,638 is equal to, for example, w or r squared, 
x minus 76,637 is s squared. Okay, then we can use these two things to find R and S and find X. Want more hint or that's enough? Uh, that's enough. Oh, okay, sure, sure. Uh, I mean, I need another hint. Can you say it again? Uh, I need another hint. Can you say it again? Sorry, I couldn't understand. Oh, I need another hint. Ah, you need more hints. Okay, so. Yeah. R squared is this, S squared is this, right? Yeah. So we should do what to these two equations? Uh, subtract. Exactly. So if, so if you subtract, you know R and S are integers, right? Yeah. Okay, so. Left hand side would be what? Um. One five three two seven five. This eight plus seven fifteen. We have one seven six plus six twelve. We have one six thirteen and fifteen. So it is R squared minus S squared. Then R squared minus S squared is what? Mm, R plus S times R minus S. Exactly. So. We should do what in the next step? Mm, oh, set some value for R minus S. We should prime factorize this to be able oh, to split yeah. into two parts. Mm, so if you want to prime it's, factorize, it's five times what first? It is also uh, multiple of 25. We can divide also by 25, right? So it's yeah. 25 times what? Mm. Six one three one. Six then thirty two one then seventy seven three twenty five one, right? Yeah. So can we factorize this one? Um. And uh -huh, uh -huh, sorry, 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 sorry. Why we said R squared? It's R to the 5. Sorry, sorry, sorry. R to the 5 minus S and S Whoa. to the 5. Because 5th power, right? Yeah. So R to the 5, S to the 5. So let's write like this. Then it will be also easy. So R to the 5 minus S to the 5. So if it's subtract again, R to the 5, S to the 5, right? Yeah. Okay. Now you should find possible values of R and S, right? You can mm -hmm. factorize or also D because R to the 5 increase faster than R squared, right? Yeah. You said it is 6, then 1, then 31. 61, 31. You can factorize or you can calculate R to the 5, S to the 5 and see and find one answer for R and S, then find X. Mm -hmm. And X is what? It says X satisfies this. X is a positive integer X. So x is positive integer, right? Yeah. So one thing here we can say, r is that because x is positive integer, it is at least seventy six six three nine. So we can say r is at least what? Mm. Uh, ten. Ten to the five is one hundred thousand, right? Yeah. 9 to the 5 is what? Um, it's 70, 7 to 9 times 81. Times 9. So the aggregate is less than 7 to 9, 0, 0. Yeah. So we can say R is at least 10. So we should find X. But if we find, we should find R or S. So try to find R or S for this and then find X, okay? Okay. Oh, R equals uh, 11 and S equals 6. R equals 11, S equals 6. How? Yeah. Um, oh, so I just tested, tested um, um, 
11 to the 5, uh, minus 1532, Uh-huh, and then you found that, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we can also, yes, one approach is that. We can also, um, because we know what's the relationship between R and S, uh, uh, R equals S plus 5. Exactly, from here. So, we could say 153275 is S plus 5 to the 5 minus S to the 5, right? Yeah. So, if you simplify, it would be what? Uh, S to the 5 plus... Is S five, to the 5, uh, we cancel each other out, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, then what? So then, uh, twenty-five s to the four plus fifty s cubed. Fifty. Mm, yeah. Pay attention. Ten. Oh, uh, two fifty. Yes, because five choose two times five is squared. 250s yeah. cubed. Then what? Um, 1250s squared. Yes, then what? Uh, 3125s. Then for s, you should say 5, for example, choose 1 times 5 to the 4, right? Yeah. So it would be 6 to 5, right? 6 to 5 s times 5, right? Mm, yes, yeah, 3, yeah. 1 to 5 s. And then what? Plus 3, 1 uh, to 5. Yeah. Is equal to 25 times 6, 1, 3, 1, right? Yeah. And then we can do what? We divide can simplify. Yes, if you divide by 25. It is 10. This one is what? If you divide by 25? Uh, uh, 2, 5, oh. We can cancel this one. 2, 5, oh. So if it... Are you sure? So let me see. Wait, no. It's just 50. 50. Yes, because 0 is left. 1, 2, 5 over 25 is 5, right? Yeah. This one is 5 to the power of 5. So divided by 25 is what? 1, 2, 5. 1, 2, 5, 1, 2, 5, right? And yeah. this one will be cancelled. So s to the 4 plus 10s cubed plus 50s squared plus 1, 2, 5s. Uh, uh, so let's we can take that one to the right hand side. So is what? Uh, 1006. Mm -hmm. 11 minus 5, 6. Wait, no, no, no. Uh, 6, Two, 6. 0, 0, 6, right? Yeah. Okay. Now we want to solve this. Okay. So here, can you say S divides what? Six and one thousand one. That's why six oh six, right? Which is six yeah. times one thousand and one. One thousand and one is what? Uh, seven times eleven times thirteen. Exact. Okay, so six also is two times three, right? Two, three, seven, yeah. eleven, thirteen. Now. Also, we can say we said s is at least uh, x, r is at least 10, right? Yeah. yeah. s is at least what? Mm, 5. Yes. So we don't need to check 1, 2, 3D things, right? Yeah. So the first number we should check is what? Six. Yes, and if you check S six here, also we see we have six. If S is six, if you check it's six to the four, plus ten times six cubed, plus fifty times six squared, plus one to five times six, right? 
Yeah. You should check. Is it equal to 606, right? And look, one important thing. This side is increasing, right? In terms of 6. So we yeah. don't need to check all these things. For example, if this side is so much smaller than this, we can ch jump to a larger divisor, right? So if 6 is so much small, we consider, for example, 42. By binary search, we call it binary search. So for example, you have minimum, maximum. Then if minimum didn't, doesn't work, you check minimum plus maximum over 2. Then if this one is a small, you check this one. If this one is large, you check this one. Understood? Then in each step, we can yeah. divide this range by 2. And in order of logarithm, we can find our answer. Okay? Understood what I said here or wanted to explain more? Uh, yeah, I understand. Okay. Now here, if you divide by 6, it would be 6 cubed plus 10 times 36 plus 50 times 6 plus 1 to 5 is 1001, right? Yeah. 6 cubed is 216, this one is 360, this one is 300, right? So it's 660, this one is 6, 7, 8, and this one 6 plus 5, 1. Zero, zero, one, and that's correct. Okay? Yeah. Good job. But you could find this. S6, R11. So because S6 is S6 is six and R is 11, so it is 6 to the power of 5, 11 to the power of 5. Uh, let me check. Uh, yes. Okay, so 6 to the power of 5 is what? Uh, 7776. Seven, Yes, because it is uh, 6 cubed is 216, when you multiply by 6, it's 12 times 6, 36, 3, 54, 57, 5, 17, and 7. So 77x seven, seven, is what? 7776 seven, seven, six plus 76637. So the sum is what? Um... Eight four four one three. Okay, let's check. Seven plus six thirteen. We have one. Ten eleven. We have one. Six plus seven thirteen plus one fourteen. We have one. Six plus seven thirteen plus one fourteen. We have one. You said this. Yeah. Okay. So we found x. Try these. How many homeworks? I would tell you. Try these three homeworks and let me know if you wanted more. Okay. Okay.